intertrochanteric hip fractures are not all the same. Here is an example of several intertrochanteric hip fractures, and we're going to try to choose the proper implant for each of them. An intertroch with regular fracture pattern can be either stable or unstable. And the obliquity of the fracture is different than in the reverse oblique fracture pattern as you can see here. This fracture here is stable and most of the studies show that there is equal outcome between a sliding hip screw and the intramedullary nail for a stable fracture pattern. And the sliding hip screw is cheaper. A construct with two screws is as good as a construct with three or four screws. Here is a fracture that is displaced significantly. It's probably high energy, but it is not comminuted. If this fracture does not align with traction on the fracture table, then you will need to do open reduction. And then if the fracture appears stable after the open reduction, it's easier when you are there to do compression hip screw. Here is a fracture that is reverse oblique fracture, and the best treatment for that is cephalomedullary nail. Sliding hip screw may fail if used for reverse oblique hip fractures. This is another fracture of the hip treated with a cephalomedullary nail because the fracture is unstable. Here is another fracture of the hip above a retrograde nail. That patient will require reduction and internal fixation with a compression hip screw. An anti-grade nail for this hip fracture will not work unless you remove the retrograde nail, and that can be a much bigger operation than a compression hip screw. Thin or incompetent lateral wall increases the chances of intraoperative lateral wall blowout. This intraoperative complication increases the chances of postoperative failure of the hardware and the need for reoperation. If the lateral wall thickness is less than 20 mm, it should not be treated with a compression hip screw. The integrity of the lateral wall is a predictor for fracture pattern stability and it is an x-ray sign that guide the implant choice. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.